Weiss, the Reverend of Real Estate. Happy to be providing some value, I hope. Keep in mind, I'm no interior designer, man, but I know how to rent the crap out of a rental. I'm good at it. Rental real estate. That's what I do full time, baby. I own the two longest running Airbnbs in the Smoky Mountains. Uh, Director of Education for the Short Term Shop. And I have a podcast called Short Term Rental Management. Enough with the plugs. Um, this one's in Panama City Beach, not far from where I'm sitting right now. Uh, been in service for some time, it looks like, with uh, very good reviews. All right, I'm going into this blind. I did not practice on this thing, okay? So just bear with me as I soak it all in. Two-bedroom, 2.5 bath beach house. Walk to beach and pool. Title's not bad. I feel this is a little redundant here. Everybody knows it's a beach house. Modern's a good word. These are these are not bad. And this is not bad. But if you were looking to polish it, you know, maybe you would consider something there in the way of an amenity. Other than saying, um, you're looking to book my beach house, which is a beach house. Um, this is no by no means a hero picture. Not even close. Now, if you're doing the rotate, because you've been doing this for a while, I would not be surprised if you're paying attention and you're doing the rotate, meaning pick your best five photos and then rotate them every day or every other day to get more action because the more you change these photos around, the more your algorithms will love you. That, I, I applaud you. But if that's not the case, get rid of this. This is not a good hero picture. This is not really a top five photo either. It's a little dark. Needs to just be brightened up. There's an app. You can use an app called Light. I use it. I use Lightroom for that. There's plenty of photo editing apps. I like Lightroom. Decent uh, top five photo here. Great top five photo here. I'd say that's a great top five photo. This photo makes me want to come here and ride bikes and have a good time, man. Drink me some pina coladas. Hell yeah. So you're definitely on the right track. I can tell you you've been doing this. You've got a little experience and you care. Dive deeper into your photos. you got 48 of them. I'd say that's a pretty fair number. Maybe a little, little high. How big is this? Oh, that's right. Two, two and a half. You know, you could probably chop down three or four photos here. Like, I'm not crazy about that photo. Like I mentioned, these two photos are identical. Except for it's two different bathrooms. So I get it. I get it. Whoops. Um, this photo is a little unnecessary. I'd rather see the whole room. I get you're trying to, you know, be artistic there or whatever, but really rather kind of see what I'm renting. Kitchen looks great. Brand new appliances. Um, we do need to get that micro swapped out sooner than later, but no hurry. Wait till February when it's dead. January. Beach cart. Now, this is, a, this is a tough one for me. I do want you to have a cart with some chairs and such on a beach in a beach market like this. But I, I personally would prefer that you're not really advertising them. Because what if they show up in these chairs, you know, let, let's say six months go by. And the, the, these were put out in March. And now it's August. They're going to be rusty and sandy and kind of dumpy. So, for me, you know, they're not. You don't have to provide these items. It is great to do that. I replace mine every spring. But I don't advertise them per se. I, I do put it in maybe my guidebook. I don't know that I'm going to put it in a picture like this because then they're expecting those chairs to look like this and this because this looks brand new. And on the beach, things get worn out quickly. So this one I'm, a, I'm probably going to ditch for those reasons. Redundant. Very redundant. I'd keep these two over this one. This one's the this is the money one here because you can see the pool. So of all of these bed, you got too many bedroom pictures here, but the one that matters is here. Great looking bathroom. Look at that bathroom. Bravo. I would rent that. This looks like a townhouse unit. Yeah, and and unit in a townhouse. I, I'm familiar with this building. 
because again, I don't live too far for, from here. And of course, the short, short-term shop operates in this market, the shorttermshop.com, where I am the director of education, of course. Um, put me an arrow here at which unit I'm looking at. I, it's this one or this one, or it's probably this one, if I had to guess. Or this one. Yeah, like you get there it is. Yeah, I was right. I was right the first time. Okay. Downside is I do have to go across the highway to get to the beach, which is certainly not unheard of in this area. More common than not, really. Good looking pool right outside the door. Cool little uh bicycles. I love it. We're dead season right now. You know, if you're looking for, uh, let's check out your calendar. Townhouse. Yeah, if you're looking for September bookings right now, it's too late. Um, Check out a video I have on our YouTube channel called The Circle of Seasonality. You needed to get this September filled up a couple months ago, probably back in like May May or June. October also needs to be pretty full by now. All my all my Octobers are looking really good on my beach houses in this market. I'm I'm right down the street from this market. So you kind of missed the boat, unfortunately. Um you can do some damage control now and get to your get down to your oh crap number, which it looks like you're already there. 147, which of course that's not a real number. Let's get a real number. Yeah. 155 is probably already your oh crap number on this thing. Uh, maybe you can go a little number. You could get just gotta do the math. How low can you go without losing money? And also keep in mind that if you're not getting any bookings, you're losing way more money, right? So figure out your old crap number. It's time to get it dialed in because um, it's too late for September and October, I hate to tell you. You're, right now, you're all you're doing is snatching up crumbs. Again, the Circle of Seasonality is a video I put out recently on the Short Term Shop YouTube channel. So right now, my friend, I hate to tell you, you're planning for March 1st. Future availability looks good. That's something to consider. The further in advance you are available, the more the algorithms like you. And your description kind of stinks. Reads like a book. Too many words. Just take take everything. Again, this has got to go. Don't put the name of your property in your description, people. Please stop doing that. I don't know why people do that. Don't do that. People are going to disagree. I don't care. It's wrong. Don't do it. You have to remember you're talking to normal people. They're from out of town. They don't know what this means. What's aqua, aqua Serena? Nobody even knows how to pronounce Serena. I'm a regular dude. I'm a I'm a mailman from Ohio. I don't know what a Serena is. Your it's a, it's a tennis player. You know, that's the only thing I know about a Serena. So get rid of it. If you're trying to get people to direct book, which is against the rules, don't do that. But you might put a logo here instead of your your beautiful faces. Well, I need the name of my property so I can get a direct booking once every 12 months. Okay, that's the goal. Put it here. That's not the goal for me, Airbnb. I love you. Please don't remove me from the platform. I love you. So, um, two point miles from this Andrew State Park. That's a bullet point. Again, Holiday Beach House. Nobody knows what that means. Um, nobody cares about it. This description's just got to go. It's it's just dumpy. Nobody's going to read that. Nobody's going to click on the fold. That's the fold right here. Like a newspaper. We need to revamp this. Great location. Newly remodeled bathrooms. Pool. End unit. Um, fantastic rates. You know, those are your bullet points. Come up with 10 good ones and put them in there and, and, and really put some some butts in the rear. Put, put some rear ends in the seats. You're really good at your reviews. Great job. 4.96 is extremely difficult. Okay, so great job there. Got a lot to build on. I just, unfortunately, it's probably too late to scoop up any September or October. That needed to be done by now, but not impossible. Especially October. You can probably scoop up some October if you really start working this thing. And again, make sure you're paying attention to Verbo. Hope this helped. (laughs) 